So the first thing, when you pick them up, you are going to be picking them up by the rear with a bail. You want to make sure that you are hooking your fingers around his balls and, okay. uh, and that you're not pressing his balls into him because, okay. you know, you, you could uh, accidentally push one back up in there. Right. So, so you got to be careful that you're hooking in uh, from the inside. So then you're going to pick your, you're going to pick his head up <laughs> right there and you want to get the, the back of his feet towards the edge of the table. Okay. Now when he's backing up, when you've got a strong, stronger personality like him, you can just kind of kick him off the back of the table, which will kind of make him freeze a little bit. Okay. And so you let him kind of fall and you can also just kind of wipe their feet a little bit like that to teach them to stand still. Okay. And this also teaches them to push into your hand, which are not. Ha I'm not having any problems with him. Sometimes you get kind of lazy puppies that uh -huh. kind of uh, like that. Okay. And and kind of pushing them. You see how it makes him push forward. Uh -huh. That's what you want him to do. You don't want him to do it too much. You don't want him to be uh, too pushed forward, but a little bit. So when you're doing the back feet, you want to line here. Come back here so I can show you real quick. Absolutely. You want to make sure that that you're lined up with the dog's hips. Nope. I know your dad's right there. Nope. Um, let, me, let me get a little control over him. Nope, because I can handle him this way instead of turning around. Okay. Um, so when you do his back feet, what you want is you want this hock to be straight up and down. Okay. You don't want it to be like stretched like this okay. or underdone. Quiet. Okay. You want it straight up and down and you want it in line with his hips. So you see how I'm turning the hock? Uh -huh. So it's straight north and south okay. and then it's in line with his hip. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. And as you're training them, you just have to do it over and over. Okay. You just do it over and over. You want that hock to be up. A lot of times they're going to want to turn in like this. Okay. So you got to turn that hock up and out. Like a lot of times uh, handlers will actually kind of push it outwards. Mm -hmm. So that way when they push forward, it's straight up and down. Okay. So you see how you want that nice and even like that. Uh, okay. so, um, uh, uh, so that takes a little bit of practice. So I normally will get the rear lined up sometimes you can do the front and then do the back uh, when you're training a puppy oftentimes I'll go from the back and then go to the front okay. um, when you're when you're seeing them in the show ring once they're trained most of the time you go to the front then the back okay. but you can do it either way <laughs>